Yo, what is good, y'all? This is your boy Mello, and this is my channel, Agree to Disagree, where we'll be having a debate slash discussion style kind of conversation format over here. Topics that we may speak on are hip hop culture, sports, pop culture, internet drama, and relationships between men and women. So if you appreciate what I'm doing over here, please hit that like, drop a comment, and hit that sub button for the one time. And today's topic is the con going on at Sneaker Con. I'm talking about the Royal One Mystery Boxes. These fools out here pulling the okie doke on people. Let's get straight into it. I'm fam Chase Briner from Royal One here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You see behind me we're getting ready for Sneaker Con Phoenix this weekend, September 24th. By the time you guys are watching this video, Sneaker Con already happened. You already missed out. I'm just here to let you guys know what you're missing out on moving forward. So check it out. We did 50 mystery boxes in Utah three weeks ago. Sold out right away. Pr pretty good response. You know, we, we got a couple, you know, comments here and there. No big deal. So what we chose to do this time was come in a little, a little hotter and then add some Vegas flair, a little cash, a little raffle, you know, to the boxes. So we're doing a hundred boxes. All right, y'all, let's check out these grand prizes that they offer. We got the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. You got the Jordan 4 Kenyan Purple. And you got the Jordan Chrome 6. Now, if you ask me, the Jordan 1 Lost and Found, okay, I can see. But the Canyon and the Chrome 6s, those aren't really good grand prizes to win when spending $300 on a mystery box. Like, you would probably be hoping that there's a reverse Mocha Travis 1 Low or an Amaman Year 2 within these boxes to where you can, you know, get a little bit of kickback from spending $300. And also one other thing I want to point out in that last clip. He said he wanted to add some Vegas flair. Now what is Vegas known for? Gambling. Keep that in mind as we go through this video. Of course they didn't get done in time. So we've got some Chunky Ducky boxes. We've got some Bart Simpson boxes. The rest of everyone's going to get stuck with brown boxes. This time and this time only. We've got a thousand other boxes coming. But we've got other stuff in the works. Don't worry. One lucky person is going to end up with a Jordan 1 unreleased Lost and Found or Chicago Reimagined. You name it what you would like. A bunch of people are going to end up with Jordan 4 Canyon Purple unreleased. A bunch of people are going to get these Jordan 6 Metallic Silvers. Not to mention there's going to be Dunks, there's going to be some Jordan 1s, there's going to be some Yeezys. Well, every box comes with a dead stock pair of shoes as well as five accessories and then on top of the box there'll be a raffle ticket taped to the top at 6 p.m you come back to the booth we draw the winners you must be present and uh someone's gonna walk home with a thousand dollars cash this is for you guys this is giving back this is a thank you guys for supporting us and that thank you for supporting them is they're thanking you for putting thirty thousand dollars into their pocket yeah if you go ahead and do the math you got 100 boxes times $300, that's $30,000. And all they willing to give back is a measly $1,000 after they done scammed a bunch of people claiming that they got $350 shoes. And when you look on StockX, them shits is going for $80. So yes, in this moment, you can call me a pocket watcher. I got my binoculars out. I'm peeping the scene. I'm seeing what Chase has got going on. Now, for me, where the scam comes in at is when the person purchases the box, they open it, and they pull out the shoe, and on the bottom of the shoe, it has the shoe marked at $300. And when you take one glance at StockX, you see that shoe is going for maybe $80 to $100. And another incident in this situation is when the guy pulls out the Chicago full-length Zoom, and ask how much are these how much are these and the gentleman chase goes 350 but he does say they're marked at 350 and if you take one glance at stock x they the highest price on that specific shoe through all sizes is only 215 dollars and yes i get it there's overhead within shops but why would you put shop prices on shoes that you're mystery boxing off if you're trying to help the community to give back to the community to give an experience to the community it kind of 
comes off as you just trying to scam like yeah these are our in-store prices and you got to deal with that because we couldn't get rid of these shoes in our store because in reality they know these shoes are not moving in our store so they just essentially going to push it off onto y'all and have y'all pay crazy amount of prices for shoes that are nowhere near worth the price of three hundred dollars now here comes my second issue with this situation is as you heard in the first clip jay said he was going to add some las vegas flair and we know what vegas is known for casinos gambling all that all that well chase my guy if you would have did your due diligence instead of just looking at this as a cash grab looking at this as if i make a hundred boxes and sell them for 300 we about to come up thirty thousand dollars you would have seen in sneaker cons policies ter terms of service you cannot gamble in any form and essentially that's what you are doing and if you tried to say you are not gambling, well, let's look at this clip. It's a gamble. You guys, every box can be a hit. So here you got a one in three shot. Normally it's been a one in four. Normally it's been twenty five percent. This time we up to thirty three percent. Hooray! And we put two grand prizes for a one day show. So as y'all heard in that clip, Chase admitting that it is gambling. In that it's a what one in three it was a one in four now it's a one in three odds for people to win so essentially that is breaking sneaker cons terms of service when it comes to gambling now i know i can't tell people how to spend their money or what to do with their money but i will give my advice my advice is to stop investing in these mystery boxes if you've been in the sneaker community for the last couple years you have seen the sneaker box or the mystery box scandal multiple times we have seen youtubers come out oh i bought a mystery box it didn't have the value whatever it may be so to the parents stop letting your children invest money into these mystery boxes i get it it's an experience it's a this it's a that but when it comes down to it they are losing the house never loses so going forward when you see these mystery boxes run as far as you can because in reality you could just take that $300 you was going to purchase with the mystery mystery box and go get the shoe you're you're looking for or you could save the 300 until you get the other 3 or 400 to get a Travis Scott low phantom because yes there was a couple kids that won a lo orange lobster and a Travis Scott one low phantom but you also got to think about the logistics a hundred boxes and only one hype shoe the odds are against you there's no point of wasting the $300 like to me the $300 is just a scam and the other part that is a scam to me is that Chase said that he is going to do 200 boxes and possibly go to 300 boxes and if you do the math on that if 100 boxes was 30,000 200 boxes is 60,000 on some shoes that if he put in his store, he would never been able to make that amount of money as they sit on the shelves and he does the, the grind and the hustle. But because his shoes are not selling off of the shelves, he has to now scam people with putting this mystery box crap together. So with that being said, I hope y'all appreciated this video. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment so we can discuss whether you think my opinion is right or if it's wrong or if you have a different point of view go ahead and drop that comment we can get to discussing or debating whichever one you want to do and then also make sure you hit that sub button for the one time